So I've been receiving a bunch of emails from people doubting my ability to build race cars, which I find a little bit offensive since I, that was my first career. And, and I've worked under some of the best, including my father, J.J. Safino, and Duke Southard. So I went to uh, my box of photos and just grabbed a stack of photos of race cars that I built along the way, primarily chassis. So here's a late model chassis with cantilever front end and a GM small block Chevy. There's a side view of it. The cantilever, lower cantilever goes through those two upright bars. The cockpits to the back, to the right of the picture there. There's another photo of it. Here's the back of it. Cantilever suspension. I was just putting the 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 door uh, steel plates on it at this point, it looks like, and the body braces, these uh, bars running across the top, carbon fiber wheels, aluminum quick change, Watts link rear suspension, both uh, lateral and, and forward and back. And there's one with the body on it. This is a sportsman type car with a Camaro subframe and tubular chassis all the way back. This uh, is for dirt. It's just a class of car. It's probably the same car here. With a Ford 9-inch rear end, a conventional three-point suspension with a third link, a rubber third link on the top, offset left chassis. All right, here's a torque arm. So this comes off of a rear axle. It looks like this torque arm are off of a 9-inch Ford. You can see the cantilever springs right down in here. There's the torque arm. There's the limiting chain. All right, here's a, a late model with a more conventional front end with your rack and pinion here, uh, conventional coilovers and, and upper and lower A-arm. Uh, massive engine setback on this. Look at that engine setback. You know, normal engine production cars, the center line of the motor is somewhere around the center line of the, uh, the front suspension. All right, here's the back of that same car it looks like. Watts link, torque arm. Uh, I don't know this car. Um, yeah, cantilever. Here's the cantilever spring. It sits inside of the the car, right next to the driver. And yeah, same car. All right, here's a cantilevered upper cantilever car with five inch springs. Massive engine setback. That's the driver's compartment there. It doesn't have the steel plates on the door yet. It looks like parts of the the body mount are getting put on it right now. Here's the back of it. Conventional 9-inch Ford with a third link. Uh, there's This is all your body braces going on it. The back end of these type of cars are open so you can get a negative uh, air pressure under there um, from the turbulence of the air flowing over the car. Here's the front uh, with the cantilever bars going in place, 5-inch five inch, five inch, uh, springs here mounting in front of the radiator. Here's the radiator right here. Here's the motor. Most of these cars I could reach the distributor from the, the, the driver's compartment. Yeah, here's another view of the front. Here's the cockpit. This one we had the fuel cell in the middle. And this was not my car, this was, was for someone else. Yeah, 9 inch Ford on this one. Here's an IMCA modified, another classic car that runs asphalt and dirt. It's required to run on, uh, be built off of a uh, full size GM or Ford frame. It's another IMCA modified. I think that's the first IMCA modified I showed, just the back end of it sitting on my frame jig. So I had a frame jig with fixtures on it to hold all the bars in place so I could crank these things out. Yeah, and there's another view. So, there it is. Um, hopefully that's enough credibility. Don't make me pull out the trophies. Alright, bye guys.